get rain come in today, so we gotta try to get these lines put down before this tarp goes back on. We got party animals, bananas tonight, fired up for that. If you saw it tonight, Jackson caught a pop-up, and it was so cool the way everybody celebrated. And a miraculous celebration as he had boofed the last two he had attempted. And then he ends up giving me a big hug, and he like jumped on me. Yeah, and I was like, all right, I'll carry you around. I'm like, sure. That was great. I was hoping he'd come in the stand so I could give him a hug. Yeah. Like, you know? We exist to make baseball fun. That's where everything started. So Banana Ball was born. This is Banana Land. smashing success so far. We got party animals, bananas tonight. We got the Sugar Land after that. I've never been in Texas. I've never been in the Lone Star State. Now I'm getting into Texas. We had rain come in all last night. We had it tarped. So we got some more rain coming in. So we got to try to get these lines put down before this tarp goes back on. Everything is uh, coming up bananas right now. Doing some good stuff. Crazy to think that we're 10% we're in. Uh, the fact that this would be our opening weekend last year around this time, and we've already been in front of close to 50,000 fans is, is pretty incredible. This is one of those things that only come around once in a lifetime. Banana ball, touring, barnstorming. Man, it's almost impossible to get tickets, you know? It's, it's crazy. So yesterday we had this meeting. It was Jesse and Jared presenting the vision of where we're going. They talked about playing in bigger stadiums, less dates, more fans, because they really cared about their people. They cared about not burning their people out. If the people break down, if people leave, then little pieces of the magic start, start disappearing as well. Never stop, man. There, there's always something to do. And I want to do this for other people. It's easy to work your butt off when there's other people just ride in lockstep with you. Being a small part of this big old event and, and just helping carry the load a little bit. I saw yeah. Singing an original song tonight. I was just practicing in the bathroom. Good acoustics in there. Uh, here's how it goes. If I could take my heart, I saw you see. Would that be enough for you I love baseball and I love music, and I honestly could not pick a favorite. If I could do one of these things the rest of my life, I'd be super content and happy, and uh, I get to do both of them, so it's pretty cool. This tour, so far, people are turning up and they want more. And to be a part of that is truly, truly a dream. Being an innovator, creating a new game, creating a new experience, Everybody here shares that dream. If you just believe in me. It's funny, because growing up, you know, my dream was to be a Major League Baseball player. And then when I was about 15 years old, I reimagined that dream to being a Major League Baseball broadcaster, hopefully for the Yankees. When a lot of people don't accomplish their dreams, they think they're a failure. And I think the big thing to realize is that when you fail, so on so fail, a dream, you're not failing it actually. And there's a reason that that dream didn't come true. You're just finding your new passions. And it's really cool because I found it here in Banana Land and a lot of us found it here in Banana Land. I was coming from, you know, a Division One baseball program and obviously, you know, I'm pitching with a helmet on, so I kind of like wanted to do something more unique and kind of bring something to the table for the kids and, you know, doing, doing it for the fans first. I played baseball in high school. I played baseball at California University of Pennsylvania. All the balancing stuff was like pretty much taught from my dad because he was always able to bounce a baseball bat on his nose. So I started practicing that like when I was like 12 years old and I just got made fun of for that and it's like, where I am now, it makes me feel like I'm in my element here. I get to do all my crazy stuff with this huge family. This is this is heaven right here. It's it's tough to put into words how exciting this whole thing's been, really. Bringing joy and, and entertainment and fun into my favorite sport in the world. I'm unbelievably lucky to be a part of this. 
you all right, right, right. So I'm singing tonight. I'll be the first to admit, we have not been coming with ideas for you guys. Yeah. So we'll work on making sure that we give like three fun things while also like making sure that we still give you the creative control to do whatever you guys want to do. We no, kind of just do it like right, right, before right. the game. Like we just Again, like, we just kind of figure it out. We just go, but we need to be like, better with what you guys know earlier. Yeah, for sure. Him. We and want to grow something. the Party Animals account. Go Party Animals. Woo! Try to make you guys go Party video. Animals. Slap hands, slap hands. Yeah, so uh, I didn't make it from the tryout originally. Then they went and played in West Palm and uh, I was on my way home from a ski trip and got a call from Barry and he's like, Fluke, we want you back. And I'm like, when do you guys need me? And this was Sunday, I believe he called me. He's like, could you see in uh, Daytona on Tuesday? And packed up everything I had and jumped ship. <laughs> Glad to uh, quit the day job, that's for sure. <laughs> Nanners ready to rumble, trying to win their third straight game against the pesky party animals in our city by the sea in Daffod Park in Savannah, Georgia. It's the third contest here in the friendly confines of historic Grayson Stadium. We're gonna drench this and then like we gotta light it on fire and I'm gonna put it up on my nose and I'm gonna walk up to the plate like this and hopefully nothing nothing like flakes off down on my face because it has happened before. It's got before somewhere on the shoulder I got burnt right there. So hopefully it doesn't happen at night. <laughs> And here comes Alex Ziegler, our bat tricking maestro, with the bat on fire. Ziegler, uh, he got a little excited. He was only supposed to do one bat spin, did two, and that's when it, the, the tape flew off the bat, which is what was holding uh, the towel on there to keep it lit while he was doing that. Things happen. We'll, we'll try it again, just like we tried fire pitch again after it didn't work the first time. And uh, live entertainment is not predictable. Mike Bavase is coming to help. He, and he pops it in the infield. Who's going to snag it? Breland Omanova can't make the play. And Ziggy on base, still shaking his hand. You got burned a little bit. I feel like I got burned on the shoulder somewhere, but I don't know where it is yet. <laughs> it kind of it hit my hands. When I flipped it around, it, it went up against my hands. Like, oh, gosh. <laughs> the campfire there, that was cool ending. I love that. That was awesome. We're tied at 2-2. Two to two. Big moments, big plays. Um, stilts came in. Nervousness, I don't think I'm ever going to get over my nervousness. My heart's beating out my chest, so. Still, he's getting outs, man. He continues to get outs. And that one's popped in the infield. And the catch for out number two. And take a look at this. The party animals going with a hitter in a trench coat. That's a battle of <laughs> giants right there. <laughs> I think I did my job. Man, him used to be my favorite thing. I think I like pitching. You're a fire lady. Great job. Way to come back on that count. Freaking, you got behind me, you came back. I was oh, yeah. really proud, man. I'm freaking up. You're too old. I watched you. It's like, they're comfortable. They're comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Errol. Oh, awesome, dude, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> I love it, dude. I love it. Only one point scored from each team in the nine innings. And then immediately in showdowns, the fireworks begin. Brett Heldon back out on the bump. Now Danny Hosley, after getting a showdown shutdown, tries to win it for the Nanners. Right after I get off the field, Coach Gillum calms me down. He's like, you're going to go hit. And it's popped into shallow left. Brett's off to the races. It falls down about medium depth. Danny approaching third base. Thank you. 
get enough barrel on the ball and spread my butt around the bases and, and thankfully safe and I thought my heart was gonna explode and my God, it was just so many emotions and, and the crowd and everything. It's just unbelievable, unbelievable. These guys can play. It's a legit game. It, it, it's a people don't understand. It's not just a circus. It's not just a gimmick. Yes, we do things that are crazy and outrageous. It's unbelievable talent what takes that just happened right there. To play an hour and 47, have trick plays and backflips and amazing athleticism is unprecedented. And, uh, we're game nine on this tour. We've got 80 games left. What's to come? And that's, that's what makes this exciting. Seven trick plays. Seven trick plays. Right, Alex Bregman did one the other day in a spring yeah. training game, and like MLB lost it. And they're like, this is the coolest thing. We had seven. Guys, thanks for coming. Have a good night. Bananas are back. Bananas win. Now the bananas are on winning streak. See you at having some more night. Thanks. Okay. You win some, you lose some in Banana Land. We'll get them.